Let me explain in this second part why MS lesions can change your emotions, not your character, and why some reactions that you have are literally neurological reactions. It feels like it's you because you can hear yourself. It's bizarre, but after 34 years with MS, I've had moments where I've reacted too strongly, frankly, it's a little bit off the deep end, or not strongly enough. I just felt really flat to something I think should be really important and wondered, is this me or is this CMS? Most of the time it's CMS, but we, we can't remove ourselves personally and give all the responsibility to MS, but it's there. Lesions in certain areas of the brain, they don't just affect your movement or your sensation. I haven't felt my toes for about 10 years now. They affect emotional regulation. If inflammation hits the prefrontal cortex, you might find your patience shorter. If it affects deeper areas like the limbic system, anxiety or fear responses can spike, sometimes in the wrong way it feels. And sometimes you get the opposite. Like I said, this, this opposite emotional sort of flatness or this should frighten me or trouble me and it doesn't. And trust me, I've broken enough bones to know that I've got a full on stupid bit in here. So I don't always feel connected to how I think I ought to feel. And this isn't wholly psychological, it's structural. The circuits are being disrupted. The brain's hugely complex if you think about it. There's all this stuff that you can't even see on MRI today, but it's happening. So if this resonates, keep watching, because the final part of this will explain how MS changes your stress system and energy. I think we all know about that, which can make everything feel heavier than it should. I always liken it to being made to run uphill repeatedly like Sisyphus, but with a hot, wet blanket draped over my head. It's horrible. Anyway, see you for the next one. Take care.